Belfast Open Studios 2015 is taking place on um, the 23rd and 24th of October and there are 15 studios, 200 artists um, across the city. I mean it's ranging from uh, Newton Arts Road right up as far as the Falls Road and from Bedford Street right through to Cathedral Quarter. It's a really unique opportunity because the artists will be opening their personal lives and their studios to you um, so that you'll see everything from oil painting, sculpture, installation, the whole plethora and range of type of arts practices around. Uh, there's even the great opportunity of finding Belfast or Rothko. Cathedral Studios will be taking part in Belfast Open Studios. We will be welcoming people through the door to a cup of sticky tea if they make it up all the stairs and we'll be having a small exhibition in our corridor gallery. There's five of us, five artists, all very different practices, um, ranging from painting to sonic, sound, art, drawing, print, and the artists are me, Lisa Ballard, Kevin Miller, Tristan Barry, Diana Haddon and John McCormick. Um, for Open Studios weekend, um, you'll find myself, uh, David Lee, um, Owen McGinn, who's a street artist, and Brian Kilt, um, who's a painter. And for us, Open Studios allows us to engage and uh, sort of converse while we're in process. So it kind of lifts the veil for us. Owen McGinn will be hosting a street art workshop um, on North Street as well during that time. Here at Platform Arts, uh, there are 13 studios and some of the artists here are Rachel Campbell Palmer, Jacqueline Holt, uh, Liam Crichton, Andrew Glenn. So a real like, mix of work going on, some sculptural, some video, uh, photography, painting, a whole range. For Belfast Open Studios we will have the two exhibitions open upstairs that people can see and then also they'll be able to visit the first floor which has all the artist studios and there's going to be lots of artists here showing their work so there's going to be a lot to see.